Today's maintenance day in the Auxiliary Llama Cave out here in the garage. What I've got is the Neo, the Flux, the Vortex and the Flow all plugged in, ready to check for firmware updates. As mentioned in the Llama Live Christmas help desk editions the other day, checking for firmware updates is the first thing you should do or something you should perform on a regular basis. So why check for firmware updates? Well, these things actually run software. They have their own small micro operating systems on them. And if there's been any fixes found, companies can fix those issues and push them out via firmware updates and happy days. Also added functionality, we saw last year with the Neo, we got road feel and just last week, we've got pedal stroke analysis with this and also improved accuracy as well. Those algorithms, there's a lot of mathematics behind the scenes and the more trainers that get out there post manufacturer when they first get released, the more data companies can collect and they can optimize their processes and push the updates out to these trainers for a better experience. A lot of the time, if you raise a support ticket, the first thing a company will do is ask you to update to the latest version of the firmware that they're familiar with and that they've fixed all the bugs in. The last thing you wanna do, and that they wanna do as well, is go through a troubleshooting process of something that's already been resolved with firmware. There's a few trains of thought about being on the bleeding edge with the latest version of the firmwares or holding back one revision. That's entirely up to you. Sometimes that's not an option. And as mentioned before, if you raise a support ticket, a lot of the time they'll tell you, get to the latest version, we'll support you from there on. Onto the process itself and the utility used here. The tax utility is iOS or Android compatible, so you're good either way, and it connects via Bluetooth to any of these trainers. So it's simply loading up the utility itself, connecting via Bluetooth, checking for updates, and letting the process fully complete. Two best practices I can give you a tip with is do not pull the power out during this process. Make sure you've got a clean power, the kids aren't gonna knock the power out. That's very, very important. And also let the process fully complete. It can take up to five minutes depending on the trainer and the phone and the process, but let it fully complete and then it's happy days. To fast track this process, I've already updated the Tax Neo. Now last week, the firmware of this came out with pedal stroke analysis added, so extra functionality. We had a resistance mode reset, not quite sure what that is, but I assume that's a good thing. And we had two cadence related fixes as well. So this covered A to Z of what I mentioned before, new functionality, bug fixes and something I've got no idea about, but I'm sure it's a good thing. So that's already taken place on the Neo. Today I'll perform the same updates on the Flux, the Vortex and the Flow, and we'll check those release notes on the way. Okay, let's get stuck into it. Firmware updates for the Tax Flux include improve upgrade process, improve peak power and calibration, awesome, and fix the cold temperature start. So overall, better experience, Definitely worth doing the upgrade. Let's get that done now. So Flux firmware is now all updated. That took around four minutes to complete. Next on the list was the Vortex. So if we back over to devices, we connect to the Vortex. Green arrow means good. We hit update, firmware update. What is new? Improved upgrade process, improved peak power and calibration. Excellent, let's get that in play. Vortex firmware is now complete, that was around three and a half minutes. And finally over to the flow for our final update today. Similar updates to the Vortex. And we're done after about three and a half minutes on the tax flow. Okay, that's it. We're all done. All firmware updated heading to 2018. If any of these are in your collection, that's the process to go through with the tax utility app on the mobile to get you updated. Other than using the mobile app, I'm not sure if there's any other way to check for firmware updates, but I do keep an eye on forums.tax.com, the Facebook user groups for tax products, and also the official support channels on their website. Okay, we'll leave it there for today. We're all updated. Now I've got to get into the rest of these trainers. Have a good one.